Mom gives birth to twins but when she looked at one of them she was shocked. Najat, conjoined twins, give birth in the same hospital where they were born, it feels like a full circle. Charity Lincoln Gutierrez Vasquez gave birth in the same hospital where she was separated from her conjoined twin sister as two children via a grueling 31-hour surgery in 2000. 21 years after giving birth to Charity Lincoln Gutierrez Vasquez and her twin sister joined from the breastbone to the pelvis, the conjoined twin survivor returned to the same hospital in a full moment to give birth to her baby. Charity and her twin sister Kathleen were separated by a team of nearly 30 doctors, nurses and support staff in 2000 when they were seven months old at the University of Washington Medical Center in Seattle, the same hospital where Gutierrez Vasquez recently gave birth to their special baby, Elora. It feels like a full circle, because my mom was here with us and everything, Gutierrez Vasquez told Aaron McLaughlin on Monday. Charity and Kathleen made national headlines when they were born conjoined, each with one leg and a third while sharing many internal organs. The Dateline cameras followed their journey, including serious surgery that took 31 hours to separate them and then put them back together again. This is probably as complex and difficult as anything we've done or done, Dr. John Waldhausen said on Dateline at the time. 21 years after giving birth to Charity Lincoln Gutierrez Vasquez and her sister Kathleen to conjoined twins, Charity gave birth to her daughter at the same Seattle hospital. Today. Waldhausen was one of Charity's first phone calls when she found out she was pregnant with a baby. He's been with me a lot, she told McLaughlin. When you're involved in a process like this, you really hope you can create a full life for someone, Waldhausen told today. And then, to see this happen, it really comes full circle, so this is a great day for all of us. Admittedly, Waldhausen had some concerns when he learned that Gutierrez Vasquez was pregnant. This is a star Chris Sullivan's son stars in baby announcement number two. Watch the 23 funniest parents on social media this week. I didn't know if her womb would allow her to carry a child, he said. I didn't know if rebuilding her abdominal wall would allow her stomach to expand in a way that would allow the baby to grow. Waldhausen reached out to her colleague, Dr. Edith Cheng, to oversee the pregnancy and birth of Gutierrez Vasquez. Alura was born at about 34 weeks by cesarean section and then moved to the neonatal intensive care unit for supplemental oxygen, but doctors say the baby and her mother are healthy. I wouldn't call it a miracle, Waldhausen said. I would call it a medical victory. The charity case is really the full obstetric cycle, Cheng told McLaughlin. This girl howling this morning, at about 34 weeks, this is a real victory, to almost finish this baby. This baby is healthy. Kathleen, Gutierrez Vasquez's twin sister, met baby Alara via FaceTime and is looking forward to seeing her in person. Gutierrez Vasquez enjoyed a moment that seemed unlikely after her very survival 21 years ago. God has really blessed me with all the doctors in my life and everything, she said. I think it's important for people to see that we're still doing well, and living the best life possible.